They rank among the world's seven greatest natural wonders. Stunning displays of performance art, once celebrated in prehistoric cave paintings, Viking mythology, and the plays of Shakespeare. In 1619, Galileo named them the Auroras after the Roman goddess of the dawn. Today, we also call them the Northern and Southern Lights. In the ethereal glow of this heavenly fire, the beauty, mystery, and wonder so evident throughout the universe lights up the polar skies from Iceland to Antarctica. You're puzzled by it, you're curious about it, it's beautiful, it's subtle, it's interesting. All of these things are awakened. Wow. And then that wow stimulates why, right? Why is that there? What is it doing? What causes it? Every aurora in our solar system originates here, on the turbulent surface of a G2 main sequence star 93 million miles from Earth. Periodically, surges of energy generated deep within the sun's core trigger massive storms that can eject billions of tons of highly charged plasma, much of which heads toward Earth on a collision course. We are bathed all the time in radiation from our big hot neighbor and we're made up in part of delicate molecules like DNA that don't like ionizing radiation zapping it. If left unchecked, this solar wind could quickly strip away our atmosphere, boil off the oceans, and devastate all forms of life. Fortunately, we're protected from these catastrophes by a remarkable provision. Beneath our planet's crust and mantle, a layer of molten iron, nickel, and sulfur, 1,500 miles thick, flows continuously around a solid iron core. This movement produces a magnetic field that radiates from Earth's core through its poles and then thousands of miles into space. When the plasma hits the shield, most of the lethal particles are deflected before reaching Earth's surface. But some are drawn to the magnetic field lines and funneled directly to the North and South Poles. About 99% of our atmosphere consists of nitrogen and oxygen atoms. These components are electrically neutral. The instant plasma collides with an atom an electron absorbs the surge of energy and momentarily widens its orbit around the nucleus. This supercharged particle then returns to its normal position and size by releasing a single photon, a small wave of colored light. The process is repeated across the night sky. Depending upon their altitude, the oxygen atoms release green and reddish photons, the nitrogen deep blue and shades of purple. This flurry of atomic reactions generates vast luminous curtains that can extend 250 miles into space. Sometimes they form spectacular rings that crown the magnetic poles. While orbiting Earth in the International Space Station, astronauts have photographed the auroras and revealed their mysterious splendor in ways never seen before. This beauty speaks to us eloquently without saying a word. I think the aurora itself is a beautiful glittering banner shimmering away it's a message, and it's saying, this planet is not an accident, and the fact that you're on it is not an accident. 
God gave us a world that, if we give it half a chance, testifies reliably to Him. And that testimony, that voice that comes to us from nature, only gets stronger and more beautiful the more you know. God's infinite wisdom really is infinite, and He made a world that has so many interesting details. Awe, majesty, wonder, beauty, biological function, planetary integrity, the role of the planet as a whole in sustaining life. You put the pieces in place. You're, you're following this mystery from clue to clue to clue. And I think what happens, certainly in my case, is you realize the Earth didn't just happen to be a place where life could flourish. It was designed to be a place where life could flourish. This planet was built to be inhabited. This convergence of functional design and extraordinary beauty, so evident in Earth's magnetic field, is also a means God uses to communicate through every facet of creation. First, he captures our attention with breathtaking artistry, for the natural world is a gallery filled with countless masterpieces, each bursting with meaning and revelation. Then, if we search diligently to understand the hows and whys of the cosmos, we come face to face with the creator of it all. The eternal artist and engineer who crafted the physical wonders that lift our eyes, inspire our hearts, and ensure our survival on the third planet from the sun.